What's up guys, we're back with some catalog reviews. Gonna do Demons 2, the sequel to Demons, which I re reviewed a couple years ago actually. So anyway, let's do this. Demons 2 stars David Edwin Knight, Nancy Brilly, and is directed by Lamberto Bava. What's up guys, I'm sitting down here now, I'm going to do three reviews. I'm doing Demons 2, doing Dog Soldiers, and I'm doing The Wraith. Two of those are going to be patron reviews. And speaking of patrons, um, this looks like my, my trusty uh, Canon G7X vlog camera. I literally dropped my camera and broke the I, I dropped it and this lens right here when i dropped it i dropped it right on this lens and i could not fix it so thanks to my patrons i was able to get another one of these i found one on facebook marketplace of all places this is a used one but i ended up getting one that was a different model than this one and i tried it out and i was like this is shit there's no way i can work with these conditions being a diva and so uh i just i like to have the best quality for you guys so I ended up buying the same exact model. So same exact model. Good thing is now I got two batteries, so I got a backup battery for it. But I like doing like B-roll footage. Like here, here's what I'm looking at right now. You can see I got the light right there on my Lilu and my Roy. And over there's my other back. You can see how small this room is. Over there's my other backdrop. I was gonna shoot in that today, but I thought, uh, no, I'll just I'll just shoot. I like I think I prefer this backdrop. It's a little less busy. Uh, and I, I change it up from time to time right there. You got the uh, the wrap, which is cool. Uh, Dave Vanderhoff's uh, Halloween 5 mask right there. You can't see that in this frame, okay? It's kind of the bridge between this backdrop and the other backdrop. So not this review, but the next two reviews will be for patrons. Thank you so much to my patrons for keeping me afloat. Also, if you want to support me, but you don't want to do the monthly patron thing, there's a new avenue that i just started called buy me a coffee simple as that go to buymeacoffee.com slash drum dumbs you go there and you can buy me one coffee two coffees whatever uh, I, i've already got a few people that, buy, that are buying me coffees right now but this is just a quick way to say hey want to throw you some, a tip some support and uh that's it you don't have to like do the monthly thing like some of the patrons do patrons they they have more of a, like a interactive experience together we do monthly live streams together all this great stuff but i appreciate all of it i appreciate just you guys watching okay it, it's so super cool to me but anyway back to the task at hand demons 2 i reviewed the first demons a couple years ago um i believe for my friend derek who passed away uh he passed away three years ago i think now and I still have the, the werewolf that he made out of like paper mache. That's always been a part of my main backdrop. And uh, miss him terribly. But he was the one that turned me on to demons. He was like, have you seen demons? You need to definitely check this movie out. So I watched it. So just recently, I was browsing around Shudder and I noticed, hey, there's demons 2 right there. And funny enough, I thought I had demons 2 on Blu-ray. And as a matter of fact, let me take you with me. With me. Let, me let me show you something real quick. So yeah, here is the demons 2. Yeah, right there. And I thought that was Demons 2. Let me go back to my normal background. I mean, it looks like Demons 2, but then if you read the top, it's Night of the Demons 2. So I ended up getting Night of the Demons 2. I think somebody actually sent me this a couple years ago. I always thought it was Demons 2, and I was actually going to get this and rip it so I could put some footage on here. But it's Night of the Demons 2, which isn't a bad thing because I love Night of the Demons. And uh, I'm definitely going to review this one too. But now i got to go and buy uh, Demons 2. But if you remember the first demons, it took place in a movie theater and it had the, this like metal, like almost like a uh, hair metal type music, you know, great soundtrack with like Motley Crue, bands like Crocus, stuff like that. So this movie, by the way, I didn't know what I was going into. I, th I figured it was going to be the same type deal, you know, and it is, it, it plays it safe. But what this movie is, is it's in a high rise building, like an apartment building. You got this uh, birthday party with this character named Sally. And so there's just these different personalities uh, and throughout the first quarter of the movie it's kind of going through all these different little characters. You know, nothing crazy. And there's this one part of the movie where Sally, she gets upset because she hears about this guy named Jacob 
who I guess she got into a fight with. And so she like leaves her own party. And so she goes to this bedroom and there's this broadcast that's happening. Uh, it's like this documentary with the, these teens and they're on this like archeology span exhibit or something like that. But of course it brings about the demons. One of them, he ends up grabbing this like bone or something like that and it releases the demons and he becomes a demon. And so live via broadcast, the demons unleash themselves through the TV, through technology onto the people. And Sally is the first one to become a demon. This isn't Shakespeare, okay? You gotta get from point A to point B to point C and that's what they do. They, how do we get the demons out to the people? That's how they do that. I remember in the first movie too, there was, uh, I think it was the movie that everybody was watching in the theater. I haven't seen the first one in a few years, but it was the movie that they were watching in the theater and that's how they became the demons in that movie. And all of them were trapped in this movie theater and it was, it was great. It was freaking carnage candy, like insane stuff. And it's Italian horror. So that, to me, that's just a leg up. I love Italian horror so much. And that's what this is. Lamberto Bava directed this one. He directed the first one. He and Dario Argento uh, were great friends. And so they, they worked together often. I mean, his, fa his father was Mario Bava. Now, I think the difference between this one and the first one is it opens up more opportunities to go to different places in the story. The first one was pretty much in a movie theater the whole time. And it was great. But this one, yeah, you're in the high-rise building, but you have like this, this gym that's in there. Uh, you got this parking structure. You got a few different places to play around with. But first off, it's scary as hell too. Like the first scene where Sally becomes a demon, she comes out of the room and there's, you know, the group of her friends that are around her birthday cake. And she grabs hold of uh, one, of the, one of the guy's arms and just like squeezes it. And you can see like the demon fingernails and everything just like um, thrusting into his forearm. And that's when the havoc starts happening. But I just love the way the scene is directed. You know, the camera's just like right there in the demon's face, you know, showing off the, the practical effects, the, the makeup work. It looks, uh, it looks so great. But there's something about the way they filmed Italian horror films uh, that made it seem even scarier, a little bit more chaotic, a little crazier, and it's definitely bloody as hell. But then you got this gym sequence, you know, it bounces around from location to location throughout the movie to keep you interested. But throughout the movie in the gym, uh, it's funny because you got this guy and he's pretty much telling everybody, you know, kick ass, you got this, lift those weights, you know? I guess they're just trying to sprinkle in some kind of dialogue because like I said, this is not Shakespeare and they're just trying to keep the story moving along. And it's kind of tough to do that when you're in one location and it's not really a, a forward moving plot. Once the demons are out, then, you know, it's just a playground and you get to see all this carnage happen, you know? So I guess the point I'm trying to make is the dialogue isn't really that important to get the point across to satisfy your audience to be entertaining but also this is like the perfect popcorn movie just to sit back and i don't want to say laugh at but it's just funny you know it's fun to watch um especially the gym sequence it's just silly to see all these guys in their gym shorts and you know this is 80s so they got the uh the wife beater tank tops i guess that's something for the ladies too they get to see all these like sweaty guys uh duking it out with the demons now, Dario Argento's daughter, Asia Argento, very young. This is her first movie. She's in this. And I'm just wondering, like, how frightening was this for her as a young child? Seeing some of the scariest makeup work ever. Like, I remember on my top 25 scariest horror movies of all time, The First Demons was on there. And that's just because of the practical effects and just how scary those uh, the facial work was. You know, the, the, the yellow eyes, uh, the teeth, everything about it was just really creepy. So... I wonder if Asia had a great time on set or if she was just like petrified. Maybe she was petrified when she first got there, but maybe she got used to it. I don't know. But uh, the parking structure scene is great, you know, it, because it's so many demons. It's pretty much like a zombie type movie. I think demons are more interesting. They're funner than zombies are. Uh, I think they're a little bit more unpredictable and uh, they're just more active, more crazy. 
and they're like thrusting on all these um, innocent people in the parking structure. And there's this great scene where Asia Argento is like stuck in this car and they're all just coming around her. Just visually, it's a, it's a really exciting scene. But our main uh, focal point uh, character wise is George and Hannah. I think they're this married couple. Hannah is pregnant. And so at the, 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 the last act of the movie, there's this like showdown between George and Hannah and the demon version of Sally. And it's great too because throughout that scene, Hannah, she's like almost about to give birth. And I think that's just because of the stress of the situation. So she's fighting that trauma as well as, you know, this freaky, scary demon, you know, coming at them. So she ends up having the baby while going through all this mess. Can you imagine that? It's a great story to tell your child as, you know, when they grow up. Mommy, Daddy, what was it like when I was born? Well, let me tell you what it was like when you were born. We had this crazy freaking demon that was coming after us, trying to kill us, as I was trying to give birth to you. Um, you want some ice cream? Last thing I gotta mention about this is the great freaking soundtrack. Like I said, the first soundtrack was more like 80s hair metal. This one is more new wave. You're gonna hear some great stuff like the Smiths, Peter Murphy, especially the Cult. The Cult had some great freaking music before they went straight mainstream rock. Uh, Sonic Temple is a great freaking album, which that's not on here. But that's when they went more mainstream rock. But before that, they were dabbling in new wave quite a bit. You know, they had like a big toe in new wave. And I think that's my favorite version of the cult. Now, as far as any cons, it's got bad acting, but that's a pro because the bad acting makes this movie even better. Uh, it's just silly. You know, and I always kind of give a pass to Italian horror films because of the dubbing issues that they have. And a lot of times you'll have actors that don't speak English that have to pull off English dialogue and it comes across as a little shaky. But you can still tell that the passion is there. Like the scene where, you know, uh, Sally finds out about Jacob and she like freaks out. I don't want him to come. Otherwise, you're going to leave and just get out of here. I mean, will you all get out of here, please? Get out! It's bad acting, but you can tell that she's still trying to give it her all. So I think it just kind of uh, sprinkles the, uh, the movie with a little bit of spice. Overall, I think I prefer the first movie, but this one's still, I mean, just as fun. And I would highly recommend it. I'm definitely buying it, properly buying it, and add it to my collection. So for rating for Demons 2, I'll definitely give it a high humdrum. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on Demons 2 uh, in the comments. Looking forward to hearing them. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks, where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do free for all Fridays. Anyway, guys, stay safe, kids.